Good. Let's get right into it. Picking up nice. right where we left off. We're not going to do Nishun's Nightmare right away, Elijah. I lied a little bit. Just do some right where we left off. <laughs> God. Oh, okay. Well, how how intense are we thinking? Because if it's right after we left off, I would still think. Like, uh, I don't think it's that intense. I think you. Well, let's. We we'll see. You've been riding. Just... You've been riding for a bit. You're riding at night in the carriage. Calm, Jazz, Elijah. Elijah, put on the. Well, bro, I'm not well, gonna... well, now. No, nah, bro. Man, that music cue was so peak. I forgot how good it was. Something I've also, noticed. Oh, I'll go ahead. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna text you, Elijah, what I had to say. It's gonna... I was gonna say uh, something I've noticed each time now, and I don't know if you're doing it intentionally or not, but your picture, your PFP changes every video, Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe. Now maybe you have, not. The fog now is you coming. Keep doing it. I love it. No, I know. That's why I was hoping in each recording it's gonna be different. It is. Oh, every one you were hoping. No, I thought about it, Caden. I've. I thought about it, and I've been like, man. I know you just know what you plan that like. I didn't plan it originally, but it's. I've had it for a while now. Now you need to keep it up. Caden, I hear oh, Zelda. I hear Link. Man. No, you hear, no, you hear Colton screaming. Get, it's like lime wall. Get <laughs> off the game. Who? Who Caden, Caden you Col lied to me earlier. You said you don't play games while you do D&D. &D. Well, we haven't started yet. We're doing it right now. Yep. Oh man. You get my message, Eli? Okay. Talk right to the right. mic, Jacob. All right. Talk into All right. the mic. This should be good. I'll adjust yep. it a little more. It's good. Here we go. Okay. Right where we left off, Ohm is driving the carriage southward more away from the camp none of the, the slaves smell in the fresh air is amazing yes none of the slaves have accompanied you but one did have a very brief conversation with Nishun before you left in which he told you that your crew was incredible his name was Silas and that Hopefully, you'd run again into him at some point. Base. I miss Silas already. And you head south with an army of slaves behind you in revolt, but you ahead of the pack. Bard, I imagine, is tending to Ethaniel and Nishun's wounds, which they sustained in the battle. We got pretty big. Yeah. I leave it open to a little bit of roleplay. So, just for context, this carriage, this is like, um, a... It's just, a, like, a carriage. I was gonna say a special one, but no, it's it's just like a carriage. There's seats, and then there's a little cargo area in the back. Is there a canopy over seats. the top? Like the no, it's ones? like a... It, it's not like a, a canopy one, it's like a... Like, there's an actual box. Oh, like, okay. it's like a... Yeah. Man, no windows, though. though. Just doors. Yeah. Bro, we got the rich carriage. We stole his carriage. Air quotes rich. Well, for the time. Yeah. But, um, um, I leave it open to roleplay. Oh, Bard, I appreciate your, your help with this wound. I touched the, um, the wound, the wounded area from where I got shot. We couldn't have done it without your help out there. No worries. Always here to lend a hand to the to the wounded. I had lots of fun with old Murray. <laughs> I bet you did. Lyle. Yeah, I know you flew from the ceiling. Oh, um, me and Murray had a nice talk. Seems like it. I look over to Limewell and my eyes are squinting. It seems like the whole place was ablaze, and I swear I. I saw someone jump out a window. What was that? Was that Murray? It was Murray. I mean, for real, there's too many damn wizards on my path. It's getting annoying for real. I can't even walk for to the real camp without a wizard setting my path ablaze. <laughs> Caden, Lime, well, I, I would assume he thought you what were are a you wizard. What are you talking about? 
Exactly, I was gonna ask. <laughs> Wizards in your path. You can tell uh, Boone and Nishun are very confused by your statement. What do you mean wizards for real, man? There are it no doesn't, wizards. No one really sees it, but Ohm hears that he immediately gets a little concerned about wizards. He doesn't say anything, but he starts scowling a little deeper. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what you do. I just... Recently, a lot of wizards have set my path ablaze. It's getting annoying for real. Damn witches. You hear me mumble. And then I grunt as I shift and I can feel the pain from my wound. I'm just glad we have a carriage now. I can finally rest. Man. Praise be to the Lord. I cross my chest and I put my hand in my pocket. I'm glad I got to canonize a line while doing the Joe Biden. Too many damn wizards on my block. Too many wizards, man. Or too many it's wizards. It's getting annoying for real. Like, can't even walk to the store without a wizard setting my path ablaze. Well, right. like get ready for my Biden blast. All right, all right. Let's let Jacob cook. Yep. So the party settles down to sleep, as I presume Ohm will continue to drive the carriage throughout the night. And everyone lies down. Boone thoroughly enjoying the morphine that is easing the pain of his wounds. Or had they been morphine? It, it was the thing. But Nishun has trouble sleeping. But when he falls asleep, he begins to have even more trouble. Put on the nightmare music. Alright, is that what you sent me? Oh, that music ended not with, perfectly. Not, not, not the Bro. specific one I told you to, uh. just the Nishun nightmare. Okay, not this one. No, 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 not this one. I promise. It's gone. It's Bro. gone. It's gone. Don't worry. Oh. Bro, I had it acting like you. Don't worry. No one heard it right. yet. I'll tell Nobody you when knew. to play that one specifically. There's I'll say Elijah do the thing I told you. All right. Hold not on. <laughs> not that, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's what I said. Bro. Too many wizards on your block. You said too many wizards. <laughs> well, and no. are you a wizard? Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and <laughs> there are two different <laughs> kinds of men. Are you a wizard? Well, and if the spell book, if the spell book you followed brought you to this, Dude. Of what use oh was the my book? god! If if the spell you if the spell you cast set your path ablaze, Dude. of what use was the spell? <laughs> <laughs> nah, his was better. That's actually baller. The spell you cast set your path ablaze. Of spell. what use? Nah, no, I'm use making that. Better. I'm making that my status. Well, I'm trying to get the right one. I just saw you oh. listening to the gloaming. I it's, did. I was seeing. I when wish. I could use it. It's so good. It's not ready yet. It's not time. It's good though, right? It's good, but it's not now. No, no, what, bro? Why not that, bro? Ain't no way, dude. The spell you cast. If set the your spell path you blaze, cast. Of what use blaze. was the spell? <laughs> it was used for Juan Bolsa. Of what use was the spell? Can Juan can Juan Bolsa be in the campaign? Ima imagine if the no, country for old men instead of. The guy who played Anton Chigurh, imagine it was a different actor and it was Juan Bolsa's actor. Bro. There are two imagine types if it was, like, actually Elijah. You shouldn't but, like, perfect. You shouldn't have. What does that mean? What do you, what you mean? mean? You shouldn't have said Elijah in his perfect form? What's Elijah's I don't know what that means, form? No, I meant, like, the acting was good. Oh. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I can't. Elijah's... Oh. Elijah's... I could not be Anton Shakur. Yeah, you could. I don't, it would not work. Bro, man, Elijah with the, with the butt cut trying it. to be Anton Shakur. Nah, bro. Cut. Call it. I can't call it for you. Call it. Dude, I, dude Nishun has dude, to do that. If you hear Elijah tell someone to call it, he's not bro. talking about coin. He's talking about something else. <laughs> if Daniel Boone, bro, if Daniel Boone meaning Anton Shakur, call it. 
I grab I, the rosary in my pocket as it's always been there. No, Elijah! Call us. Okay. Not this song. Uh, you always it, do this no, song. It, no, Ethan. I do not always do this one. This is Cap. This is oh Cap. Oh my god. All this right. is a big Cap, Ethan. Right. Bro, which side of the rosary? Call it. <laughs> call it. I do not. G Gabriel and Raphael. Now it's r oh. which rosary? Gabriel, call it. Gabriel or Raphael? Call it, dude. Boone has You're to return real. to his killing. He has to return to his killing arc. Does he have to Raphael. pull it out of his pocket? I have three fucking rosaries now, and you don't know which oh, one yeah. I have you in have my to, pocket you now. You have Tobias okay. Bacon's. I can't call it for you. Y'all, hold on time. one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> 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 All right, you know what? Chloe, well, I during have to that set time, my path during this time, I'll to get a new damn song. <laughs> Chloe, I'm setting my path to blaze with the boys right now. I can't talk. He's setting He's... something else ablaze, Gaden. He's got to set her forest to blaze. Fine, 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 fine. fine. <laughs> Dude, and the end of music. Oh my god. This I'm is nightmare music. I'm expect yeah, it's a nightmare, bro. I, ain't, I... <laughs> bro, if the if the, I go into a nightmare, the wife goes, <laughs> bro, I ain't ready. I ain't ready. Bro, what's my favorite? Why did you free them? You spent two thousand five hundred dollars. No, that was you. wrong with you. No. That was your half. Your half. <laughs> Get that money back. There's only your all of it. You spent on a bunch of fucking. I mean, uh, sorry, YouTube. Uh. <laughs> uh, Ethan, you can I swear as long as I'm on the first 30 I, I, I seconds. Girls. It's true. All right, I'm back. I'm back. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. We're not monetized anyway. Why do you care? <laughs> okay. Next tune. You find yourself on a black tile and fog around you consumes you, black fog. And as it extends outward, it reveals that you're standing on a black tile of a checkerboard pattern. But this is a massive oh. board. This is like one square is like 20 by 20 feet and you're in dead center roll perception bro i was about to say am i good to see andrew tate what color is your bugatti there are too many what colors damn, your mind there are too many damn mind flares on my path shit is going to win for real what color is your mind flare <laughs> i did you roll perception i'm going there baby Bro, you're on the Bro, human what chessboard. mind flayer is that? Give the pizza mind flayer. <laughs> Alright, I got 14. <laughs> Alright. When you look around you, in front of you, on the other squares, you see French soldiers in the position of pawns. <laughs> and on... You are in the position of king. Ohm is in the position of queen. And Nathaniel Boone and Limewell and Guitar Bard are also positioned as various characters on the board. But Holy out shit. in the far distance, you see the other side of the board. But you can't see past the first layer. You just see the pawns, which are British soldiers, and floating above the board in a massive towering form on the other side is Morico. And when you look behind you, you see Alistair on your side of the board. God damn. God damn. Bro. You see purple tentacles descend from the sky and start to move pieces of the board. And Moriko responds. And pieces move in turn on Moriko's side. Until you see up ahead a standoff on one square stands Ethaniel, and in front of him stands Ella and Monty. And you see Monty's piece 
move over into the position where Ella was, and she fades into dust. And then you look to your left, your right, and far in the distance, on the other end of the board, you see Emmanuel, the person you piloted in your dream. And you see various other people. But then, Morico, not Morico, Alistar moves Ethaniel's piece, and Monty fades into dust. And you notice a shift in Morico. Morico becomes furious and starts to scream and lash out. And then, purple tent, not purple tentacles, red tentacles from Morico reach down from his cloud. And you see him grab Ohm and Guitar Bard and move them on the board and position them to be against you. And they now block your path. And Morico looks at you. <laughs> Let me. Home and the Shun are gonna fuck to the king and the queen. Hey, I'm down. Your move, Alistar. Hey, <laughs> did I night hear Lime will do this in my dreams? Hey, you gotta chill, bro. And that's the dream. You wake up. In the middle of the night from that. And I hear <laughs> oh. Do you do anything after you wake up? Uh not really. I just kinda sit there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. God. After you sit there for a while and just stare out into the dark as the carriage rolls along the obsidian highway. Eventually, the Mind Flayer speaks to you. What do you need? Sometime, Sometime in the future. I think you should go somewhere alone so we can talk. We need to strategize. Things have changed. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I guess vacation's over. The fun has just begun, though. Huh. And that's all I yeah. said. That was a great dream sequence. I like it, too. I did, too. <laughs> I'm a fan. That was, that was great. All right, all right, why, does, change the music. why does Lymel yeah. not get to be the queen? Todd, kidding. Bro. Oh! I think Lymel should be Nishun's queen. Oh! We can change oh, the music the now to like happy yeah, day music. <laughs> All right, put on some Animal Crossing. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm gonna put on the uh, copyright for YouTube music. <laughs> no, put on the Steven X ad. Done. Man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, we're in a song, now we look at it. What? What, Gaden? What are you trying to say? Why did you send chess.com? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, even I see Lay Slide. Huh? Huh? Oh, let's slide. LeBron. Yeah. <laughs> bro, bro, let first page. I'm trying to find happy good times. Where is it at, bro? No, dramatic. Just write bro. blood into the search bar on your stuff and it should pop up on the playlist. That's the thing I can't find. Has to be this one. No, bro, they're not loading for me, so I can't check them. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. So this is not just—we're not hearing horror ambience yeah. right now. 
Also, what you can do actually real quick, Jacob, can you disconnect the bot so it makes sure I don't think it yeah. will. Just make sure it won't do that Q again. Okay. Based. Alrighty. Oh Dude. My God. <laughs> I'm not I didn't play that, don't worry. Bro. <laughs> we all know the ad. Limewell after he after he sees the shoe and having a nightmare. I hope not, man. I hope not. <laughs> no, this is a lie. This is what play. This is what played during Limewell's dream, dude. <laughs> Jacob, That's you want to so do it? You want to do an improvised Limewell dream scene for this? Music? Okay. Limewell is in a bar, and he's playing <laughs> poker with a bunch of pigs in suits. <laughs> Dude. That's his dream. That's it? No, please That's keep amazing. going. That's amazing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he can't just... <laughs> you gotta keep talking until the song's done. Describe this person. One of the pigs looks at you. <laughs> Dude. Do the deep voice filter. <laughs> Wait, let me... <laughs> let Elijah roleplay one of the pigs. Three cops on his pipe. <coughs> what, did you, what did you say? What did you say? Three cops on his pipe. Ah! Elijah. <laughs> Alright, happy day music. I can't roleplay a pig poker game forever. We gotta, we gotta get moving. Limo's <laughs> 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 asleep right now. Limo's dreaming. What is Limo's- what is Limo's hand? Uh, it's all jokers. Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> that makes sense. There's not even- dude, there's not even that many jokers. He just- <laughs> <laughs> Limo's cheated. Limo's- Limo cheated. So he has all the jokers. Dude. Dude, he's insane. What? <laughs> Does he have a full hand, but it's just all of the cards are jokers? Does he just have Limo, two? Limo has a full hand of jokers. He cheated the deck so he could have all jokers. Alright. Dude. Alright, oh there's a- God. Th We're done. No more. What? I love Limo's dream sequence of Ben sound. Come on, bro. You wake, you wake up all. You still got voice mod on. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. You're still, you're still, you're still, you still wake up the in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. You wake up in the morning and you see a limo playing poker with pigs. It wasn't a dream. <laughs> but now you are in a part of the journey where it's not as much a clearing with the highway, you're going through like a forested area, but the highway still runs through. <laughs> 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 Oh, my God. oh, I didn't even know I had it still <laughs> on. God. We told you. you. Just, <laughs> I didn't. I couldn't pay attention. I just heard it's still happening. It's still happening, and I'm like, oh, there's shit posting. Okay. No. No. You all wake up. You really are the pig. And you all wake up in the carriage, and you're going through a forested area with Ohm still driving, as Ethaniel and Nishun and Limewell are the first to wake up. Ohm has been up all night. Bro, someone swap out with him. Nose goes. I peek my head out the front of the uh, carriage. Oh, my friend. You want to rest a little bit? I'll take over for you. <laughs> oh, is asleep at the wheel. Yikes. For real? Bro. Actually, yeah. 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 <laughs> I... How about you did? Okay. I... I... I, I thought he was asleep on call. I thought he was asleep on call. I was as, like... As I look out the front of the carriage and I see him, I, I notice that he's sleeping. Part of me is astonished, but I'm also... I chuckle to myself. And I, I'm happy to have a friend in the group that's willing to stay up, or try to stay up all night to drive us. Well, son... 
Ohm stops slouched and he sits back up. He puts one hand back and slowly turns and looks at you. Weren't sleeping on the job, were you? <laughs> I put on a very stern face. I'm just gonna stare at you wide-eyed. SOMEBODY STOP THAT ARM! <laughs> and then he relaxes his face and smiles and he pats the seat next to him. Motions you to come on and sit down. Damn. Yeah. I... <laughs> Good Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, let's, let's the watch them. I continue so, uh, staring at you with a very stern face, and then I slowly start nodding my head no, and I slink back inside. <laughs> <laughs> come on, we're just gonna take some photos. No, and then I actually peek my head back out, I'm smiling, and I come and sit with you. Bro, when are they gonna start dating? Oh. I yeah, say this to Limewell. You guys are so playful. Oh, you said this to Limewell? Yes. Why did I get a fuck already in your shoe? I mean, there's so much tension there. What <laughs> happened? What's well, Sarah I mean, about you saying that? Well, I'm not fixing to go hog on him on YouTube. I don't know. Let's on YouTube. Let's Jacob, let's Jake, Jacob, what does Sarah think of me saying this? Sarah wakes up. She was sleeping at your feet on the floor of the carriage. Oh. There's only food for four. Oh, how does she sleep Dude, with the Limo? Feet? You how does really she have the them? love of your Limo has truly found the love of his life when the woman that's she with him sleeps at his feet for a whole night and rests can... easy. Dude, the feet, the smell of the feet knocked out Bard. What that's what get, ruined my blanket. Them. I have the fucking foot blanket now. <laughs> Bro, I had to burn his blanket. Dude, no, I still had to stand next to it, but we stayed it entirely. Who is this woman? It's the woman. It's me, Jacob. And Caden, no. it's me. It's me. Guitar Bart is sleeping with their face into the wall. <laughs> 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 All right. He, guitar bar kind of get gets up and kind of looks around to make sure everyone's doing all right. No, I yeah, only said that because I just work. thought it was really funny. The idea of like you all in this carriage talking and it cuts to the bard and they're just like it looks like someone propped them up like a corpse into the corner of the the wagon. <laughs> That's what I was, bro. No, I, I was imagining you know with like Golden Freddy sitting on the ground. That's what I was imagining they were sleeping like. <laughs> Bro. Limo's gonna do his morning routine of doing the Joker dance meditation. Oh, God. In the carriage? It, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, how? In the carriage. You all have to stay perfectly still as Limewell shakes his lanky head and body around this fucking tiny cramped carriage. That barely has room for four people to sit in. What? Well, I'm just gonna sit here doing this and not talk to anyone. Even if you talk to him, he's just gonna sit there and, until he's done with his routine. Ethaniel, you notice in particular Nishun doesn't look very well rested. Nishun. Oh wait, you're on the front of the carriage, never yeah, mind. Yeah, saying. no. I reached you my take neck note of this and you go to the <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Bro, he's oh, just no. meant his head <laughs> like a slinky around to the back of the no, carriage. No, Bard, carriage. you notice no. that Nishun doesn't Boone goes to go back faster. inside the carriage, but then sees Limo and just goes back to sit down again. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not coming back in. <laughs> you doing alright, Nishun? Did you yeah, sleep yeah. well? Yeah, just, I don't know. I don't sleep well in carriages. Is there any way I can make the the ride more comfortable? No. You good. can get out and you can go away. <laughs> you can leave. For the hog. Go ride the hog. Go away. Roger, can you change the music? So go ride the black. We're, we're gonna we're, we're gonna, gonna get, get a, a hog, and we're gonna make Bart Wait. ride it. Can we? Can we yeah. get? Can we? Can we do this? Please. Well, you'll see. Yeah. Yay! All right, that's the end of um uh, 
inside the carriage roleplay, we need to switch to Ohm and Ethaniel on the front. All right, I can do some worry. talking. Elijah, have my music thing I sent you ready. Don't get it like right away, but I'll let you know. I won't. You. Yeah, I know. Man, you had I, I, just... bro, it kept trying to play. Yeah. All right. So, as the carriage rumbles along down the Obsidian Highway, you can look off the side of it and you see little pieces of granite and obsidian flaking off the road and bouncing off of the wheels. It's beautiful, this country. It's a little sparser, not as many trees, but there's a lot of pines and um, more more uh, trees of that, that type. And as we're going, I look over to, uh, to Ohm and I notice how focused he is on his driving right now. Seems real quiet. Seems like he's deep in thought about his past. And I say, Ohm, friend, you've, uh, you've seemed a little more thoughtful recently. I chuckle. Even though you are thoughtful most of the time, you seem to be very stoic. What's been on your mind? Currently, this sounds a bit dull and all, but to me is incredibly enlightening. And some of the best time I've spent with this driving here, I've been able to clear my mind and not have anything on it. Sometimes your mind is just your worst enemy. In times like <laughs> this, you can finally just exist and be. I smile when you say this. Look away from you. Look at the landscape passing by. It's true. I'm thinking to myself, your mind really can be a prison. And it was for me for a long time. A lot had happened, a lot has happened on this journey thus far. And right now is the most free I've felt in my whole life. I look back to home and I smile. Well, I can tell you that meeting you and the rest of this party has definitely been a uh, catalyst for change for me and my mind. I smile. I hope it's been the same for you. Seems to have been. Chuckle and look forward. I take a glance and then look forward breathing the smell, the fresh air and just kind of give a little nod and say change is good. Change is good. Mm. Yo, your mic's muffled. It is really muffled. Bro, now I just might just need a new headset. That right there, whenever you whatever you do right there makes it sound good. If you can keep it like that, then is it still is it fine now? Yeah, this is good. Whatever you have, I right moved now. it half a centimeter closer. Now it's perfect. <laughs> whatever you did just now, it's perfect. All right. Well, he just says change, change is good. Kind of like nodding in insurance, more or less, who insure himself or assure himself. Yes. Roll perception. Both of you. Oh, all right, hold on. Let me find it. I got an eight. No, where's perception again? Your mic. There. Bro, are you serious? It's good now. It happened now. Okay. Bro. You got an eight too. We both got eight. <laughs> Together, you get sixteen. You want wow. To go again. We can only roll one. As you pull up off to the side of the road, you notice another carriage. This one does have a canopy over it. And it is parked. Eli, put on the song. All right. Uh, the song. As you, you, you can walk closer as you roll perception. I mean, you can. You fuck. Oh, you can roll perception <laughs> as you walk yeah, closer. <laughs> So we're pulling the carriage over and we're getting off to walk towards this other carriage. 
All right. As you approach, there is a big sign on the side that you can't quite read. But there is something very interesting about this carriage. To the back of it, there is a cow and two hogs tied to it. And the front of the carriage, there is a mule. And there is a man on the front where you would be sitting to drive with his hands back behind his head, a robe draped over his face as he snores quite loudly and sleeps with his feet kicked up on the mule. Well, I whisper. Who's going over there first? I look over. How far away are we from it? Like you're like twenty feet by this point. Okay. I'm quite fond of that mule already. I was gonna say, Limewell. Do you wanna a smile uh, mischievously? Do you wanna use that patented uh, wake up trick? you used a while back. I grin and look at you. Oh no. Are you sure? Are you sure, boo? I looked at the shoe. The shoe. Are we I don't stealing think the man's the mule? No, 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 no. We're gonna wake him up. It's just gonna let my mole do it. I smile. I'm talking about the feet. Oh, is he gonna get naked? I'm just gonna let you do whatever. I was gonna let you just take okay. something. Is he gonna brown from him? <laughs> <laughs> I stick it up there and I all wiggle right, it around. All right. No. <laughs> I'm guessing the shoe nods at me and I look back. Lionel. Yeah. And I say, Limewell, it's all yours, my friend. All right, Limewell starts doing this dance and slowly sliding towards the man. Bro. Bro. Oh, not the no, 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 you are not. Doing no, that. no, no. <laughs> and once he gets up to him, Limo raises his left leg into the all the way above him, full 90 degrees, takes off his shoes and sock, and then slowly brings the foot to the person's nose and starts wiggling his toes. No! <gasps> That's dastardly. That's dastardly. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> In your s suddenly, without moving, Dice. the man's hand reaches up and grabs your foot and twists your ankle all the oh. way around. Oh. Oh. No! 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 It's a boss fight, bro. What the hell is wrong with you, boy? Oh. <laughs> bro, he just pulls out his sword. Oh. He gets up oh. off the carriage. Get close to your mic, Jacob. He gets up off the carriage, right. and he looks at all of you, and he pulls his robe back. He has this black robe on. It's a little longer than his hands, but it's not like a normal, really long robe. And he has a black, angular beard, and this man is very ripped and buff. It's Hasselbeck! Hasselbeck! Wait, it's a traveler, dude! It is! Bro. Oh. Dude, you even took Hassle that snoring into account. What the hell is wrong with you? Is this some kind of joke? <laughs> oh. I, I In speak up. The twisting of the ankle, I'm like, oh, oh, and he crop dust him in the face. <laughs> oh. No, no, Kaden. He like tossed you to the ground after he yeah. twisted your ankle. I walk uh. up and I like put my hand on Lymo's shoulder and then I look up to the man and I say. I must excuse my friend, dear sir. He, he's he's quite rambunctious at times. I grimace, and then I look to Lima and I smile at him. I, the man can't see me smiling, but then I look back. Yeah. I just grin at Lima and shrug. <laughs> get what you get. Lima looks he, at his ankle and starts grunting and jolting, and all of a sudden his back. ankle his ankle just. Readjust itself right back into place. What the Dude, that I hate that you didn't even it. touch it. Yeah, I, you didn't even touch it. You just. Ugh. He pulls his hood off to reveal his gray hair. And his beard is black, but his hair is gray. It's very interesting. And it's at this point in time that you can read what is actually written on the side of his carriage. 
I'm gonna type it out instead of saying it for comedic effect. Where are you typing it? Gameplay. Game He would have Jim Croce on. I literally, I was thinking, I was like, what's a song that I could use for him? And I'm like, this is the perfect it theme. It is perfect. He loves Croce. I wish he could have been here for this. This is what it reads on the side. Dr. Hasseldorf Bro. on Luger. Luger or Luger? That's awesome. Luger. Luger. Medicines and remedies. Oh. What a strange bunch of people. Dude. We, uh... I smile. Are definitely a strange group, but... I gotta say... Kind of turn, not uh, tilt my head and look at the carriage and look at the cow and then the two hogs and the mule. I gotta say, you've got a strange assortment here yourself, friend. Who almost said, gotta say, I'm turned on. Yeah, you can say that. This here, he, he slaps the ass of the mule and it he haws out. This is my trusty Hasselstein. And, uh, back there, that's Bessie the cow. I sold my wife for her. And oh. those are just some hogs. <coughs> Man, I sold my wife for internet connection. I, uh, Yo. I gotta... Oh, wait, go ahead. I gotta ask, how did you... I gotta ask, how did you, how did you create such a physique for yourself, dude? I have a few secrets. One, you only eat bloody things. Two, you gotta drink the milk straight from the teat. No pasteurization, my friend. That ruins it, bro. Louis Pasteur and... didn't exist yet. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it exists. Hassel, it that's what Hassel is going to start doing when he actually buys the farm. He's, I remember you were talking about that early, like a while back, that he wanted to own his own farm. All right. He's going to do that shit. And, you know, I, I pride myself on my power. Uh, you got to get closer to the mic. Yeah. You're a bit far away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, since you fellers appear to be here, I guess I might as well show you my stock. He turns around and goes up to his carriage and flips open the door to open it so you can sell out the side. And he goes in, and he puts these little boxes on the counter, the ones that, like, open up into, like, a thousand different drawers. Oh, oh wait, so it's the one from Toy Story 2? Oh, my God. Basically, yeah. like, he has a ton <laughs> exactly of those. Exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> and you see all sorts of various substances. I pride myself on selling medicine. I am a doctor, after. Oh, by the way, I should introduce myself. Dr. Hasseldorf von Luger. I'm a human <laughs> specialist. And a warrior sometimes. Luger. Are those mushrooms you have? That is the mushroom case. I have 40 different types. Get close to your mic. Bro, it's, it's so unintelligible. Yeah, you gotta. Various right there. medicines. Oh. <laughs> Whatever you're doing right there is perfect. Whenever you do yeah, the voice, it, do it, that. It makes, it, it, makes it even funnier. Yeah. I have all sorts of medicine that you can want. And meat and other products. Oh, just ask. Can I get some chicken testicles? <laughs> he 
reaches down and pulls out a box and opens it. <gasps> it's the testicle box. No! I really thought you were going to say he, he unzips his pants. And he pulls out some testicles. One gold piece per. Now I should tell you, these are the finest chicken testicles ever. <laughs> you will never find better ones than these. <laughs> these chickens were raised on pure meat. <laughs> I look at him and I look astonished. Pure meat diet. I gotta say, that's... It's incredible. He reaches behind the counter and pulls up a picture frame. This was my prize cock. Bro. Jim. And it's one of those giant, like, Jamaican chickens. And that's it's, God. like, up to, like, his elbow in height. <laughs> He's standing next to it. Bro. 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 Can I Lime wait? Can I wait? Can Lime I buy some pets? I'm all hands to the gold pieces. Elijah, I gotta write you uh, hold up. Elijah, I gotta write I'm you cooking. Hold I'm cooking. Hold Elijah, on. I'm cooking. Also, I gotta. I gotta. I, I'll note this to you, Jacob. I still have 200 gold pieces because remember back when I got the 1,000, I only spent yeah. 800 on the chocolate, so I still have 200. Yeah. How much for 10 testicles? I just told you one per. Do the math. Also, how, how, how much for that mule? Hasselstein is not for sale. But the, pow, well, the cow and pigs are negotiable. I, uh, I gotta ask. How much is your prized cock? I killed my prized cock to get the testicles. I thought you pulled you pull he pulled it out. No, 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 this dude. No, no, Elijah. I'm talking about yours. Your no. personal one. That's what no. you gotta say. Mm -mm. No. Wasn't there a live one though? He was showing you like a drawing of it. No, it's a it's a oh, Man, I'm sad. I was gonna buy man. the prized cock. Elijah, did you see what I wrote? Mm -hmm. Well I had to leave my other cocks back in wild country they kicked me out of that state because of a hung jury <laughs> well how much for your cows and pigs hogs are 500 each cow will be 1500 i look at my mom my mom do we really need a cow? I can see the pigs. You know, Lime Well, if that even really is your name, I can't help but notice all you want to do is buy things and you don't actually have any work ethic. Oh. <laughs> I look to him and I say, you just met the man. How do you know what his work ethic is? Actually, <coughs> he smiles and he looks up. Would you boys be willing to do some work for me? I pay quite well. I'm just gonna start scalping some Indians. What type of work? Whoa! <laughs> Call it logistics. I need you to go back to my home land on the Cumberland Plateau. And I want you to go get what is left of my supplies I had to abandon when the sheriff ran me out of town. Well, uh, where can we meet you with your supplies? Right back here. It's you not mean... that far. You go up there, you load up on surprise, I'll give you ten gold bars and half the supply. I looked to Limewell. Oh. I turn my back to him, and I pull everyone oh. close. Yeah. Everyone. Oh, bitch. Okay. Everyone. This is a great deal. Ten gold bars as well as half of the stock. We've done far much more <clears throat> for so much less. I think I should do it. Hold on. I could use the supplies. I think I can make this deal better. How so? Wait a minute. I turn around and I walk back up to him. Do you think we you could uh throw your throw a pig and a gal in the mix? I got ten pigs back home and four cows. Well, can we keep one of each? Dude, I what? promise you half the stock. God, watch it. What? He promised us half of his stock! 
Well, I know, but I mean, I didn't know if it, that, that, that counted. I thought he was talking about the medicine. Oh, he said, all right. He said, all right. <laughs> you can get a pig and a cow. And maybe one of my prized cocks, if you're lucky. But no right. more than one. And he sticks his hand out to shake it. <laughs> <laughs> I go to shake his hand, but then I bean dip him. Dude, <laughs> no! no. And, then I, uh, and then I look at it and I go, bean dip. What the fuck? He no! Looks at you, you can't he bean looks, dip Hasselhoff! He, he, he looks at you, and the tiniest little smile creeps across his face. <laughs> Before he quickly takes it away and then goes, yeah, wh whatever. <laughs> Dude, is I bean knew he'd like it. Is bean dipping a, a native tradition of like? Yes. That's a deal. It's, How come you're bean lime well? Because you don't have any beans to dip. So let me explain to you boys the plan. You're gonna want to go to this town. On the Cumberland Plateau up the river. It's called Spring. It's called Sulphur Springs. No. No. Follow the obsidian. Follow the obsidian highway west to Sulphur Springs. Once you reach the town, you're gonna look for my contact. He goes by the name the Smile Maker. Dude, what? No. It's no. Happening. This is not happening. This is not happening. Bro. Is this? Is Dude. this Blood, Sweat, but, Tears, Multiverse of Madness? But, be careful. Stay away from the Sheriff. He's not who's, nice. Who's the Sheriff? Well, you'll know him as soon as you get there. What does that mean? It's Doug. I no. found never to say Sheriff his Doug! Name. Sheriff Doug! <laughs> it's not Sh Could his name anyway. be Doug? Dude, you did not ask that. You did not ask that. Yeah, dude, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. Yeah, that's no. <laughs> yeah, it's you getting shot. Wait, <laughs> Wait, that's, that's, that's Doug shooting you. <laughs> Why does it sound like that? Is he shooting me with an airsoft gun? <laughs> he has the, he he make the, the first air. He has the air gun, like air gun. Oh, but. <laughs> okay, I'll just stop blowing into the. All right. He does. Dude, he does sound like the air gun. What's the most you ever lost on a spell? Shut up. What's, what is the, the most you ever lost? The cow moves behind you. Moo and the voice changer, Jacob. <laughs> no. Oh. Dude. So, wait, are the, wait, so none of the prize cocks are currently with him? Oh. No, but I can get one, and it's mine, Caden Dibs. I want the prize. Bessie, I'll dibs Bessie. on the cow. He turns okay. around to face the cow. Shh, Bessie. Milk time is later. Oh, no. Dude, is he homeland? Why did he whisper like that? <laughs> anyway, if y'all boys are gonna be going to get my stock, you best be on your way. We'll do the best that we can, Hasseldorf. I appreciate your uh, your business. I smile. I hope we can see you again sometime. I look at him and I, I go, If you're not here when we get back, all of that stock is ours. Why would I leave? <laughs> that is such a hassle dad remark. You seem to be a pretty reliable bunch. But, and he looks at Limo, just keep your shoes on and lay off the peanuts. Oh, not the peanut lore! Dude, how do you know? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn, that's an old one. I forgot. Alright. I, even I remember that one. Alright. That's the end of that interaction. Wait, no. As we, can I add something, Jacob? As we're walking go, away, we see him pull out an old like stone tablet. It's meditations. <laughs> Bro. No. You, you do notice a bunch of stone tablets and feathers. It's just a very eccentric shop. He has a lot of things. You've never seen so much stuff in one place. Ma'am. Can there please be one, like, poorly translated book, like, me Meblobations or something? Dude, no. What? It's, like, very poorly translated. Come on, August is coming. Right. 
It's called penetration. We can take the, the theme song <laughs> off now. I am. Um, no word. Man, that was great. All right, Lime now has a pet cow. And I have that surprised is, cock if I can find it. That is what I, I meant last session when I said you're going to meet someone very special. Mm, I love Hassle Dassle. We need to steal more pigs from him because there's not enough for everyone to ride. We, I mean, we have we to take a roof. Nobody's more pigs. riding the pigs. Bart is, I thought. What? <laughs> no, actually, you do need to ride the pig. <laughs> I'm riding the cow. I'm, 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 I could ride the prized cock because it's like up to my elbow and I. It's the Jamaican Bro. one. You gotta ride it. I might. Let me get a picture of what it is. Is it's Bard like those giant chickens. Is Bard gonna ride the pig? Bard, you riding the pig? No. Okay, then I'm riding the pig. Bro, You're you should. Long. You should. No, Bard, you need to get a pig and name it Hamus instead of Hamus. <laughs> <laughs> I just stop. Uh... Sorry. No, you're not. I threw up. Shut up. Okay. Up. It's one of these. It's one of these, but it's like three feet tall. Bro. Jesus. I'm riding it. Yo. It's no pleasure. I'm riding. Limo, Limo walks over to the pig. Dude, what color it's, is, what color is it's pig? over. It's, it's over. We left. We're lo we left. No. We're lost. Ethan, you really went to go say we're lost. You know, you know why he wants the pig. Remember <laughs> that? Do. You remember the pig that he lost in Minecraft? So long. You were ago? not naming it Reuben, Caden. You oh are God. not. I wasn't Reuben. gonna, but now I can. Of that. <laughs> All right. You're going up the mountains to get on top of the Cumberland Plateau. It's a different environment. It's very hilly. I leave it open for roleplay in the carriage to discuss the adventure for you. Are the pigs in the carriage? I'll, uh, I'll be no, driving. Dude, no, dude, dude we're, we're retrieving them. them. Caden, we're going to retrieve Fuck. them. No. They're not with us. He said he had the cow. He said he All had right. two cows Kaden, and this a pig is, with Kaden, him. Caden, listen, listen up. This is what happened. We talked to Hasseldorf. He had things there, including pigs. We left Hasseldorf. The pigs stayed with Hasseldorf. We're gonna go get Hasseldorf's <laughs> stuff. I we're thought gonna we back. took one of the pigs with us. No, Why? we did not take one of the pigs with us. <laughs> Why? Because we bought a cow. We and a didn't pig. buy anything yet. We're giving them for free. If we do work. God. The 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 work ethic thing was because I figured that was something Hassel Dad would do. I figured I he would finish his work no, this ethic. Is true. Yes, this is he true. told us. Dude, to it was hard to understand, dude. That was before he was I speaking I can understand up everything he said, and he said well, we're I'm going sorry, to Sulphur Springs I'm to get his stuff. Everyone understood. That was like before he started speaking up. Oh my god. Kaden. Okay. Nope. Anyways, I'm gonna be driving the carriage this time. I'm giving Om a break, so it's y'all inside. Oh All right. god, we have to sit with the gnome. <laughs> Not the gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Nodding gnome. You seemed really envious of that chicken, Shun. You like riding cock or something? I mean, come on. You like that cow. That's right, Lima, don't you? I guess you like writing, bitch. What? what? I don't know. I, oh, I messed it up. I messed it up. I messed it up. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. It happened. It happened. It happened. It's not real. No, it happened. That's it. Why would you stay with you? No, this is how I respond. Breaking news out of Rochester, New York. What? You can't even see the two horses. You start killing everyone. <laughs> All right, that never happened. That was the mind. No, that happened. Sleep. I that messed happened. it up. That was like, okay. the only reason you want this to happen is because this is the first time I fumbled in a while. No, you just said it. You literally said it to Limo. I'm sorry you made a mistake, but you said it. <sighs> oh, okay, Limo. I guess you're a cow. I don't know. Anything's messed up. It's, it's all fine. messed up. It's all wrong. Just restart it. What God. What are you saying, shooting about bitches Reset. and cows? Reset. All right. Back to one. Reset. One. All right. 
You seem very envious of that chicken, Shun. You like riding cock or something? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm, uh, it's, you, can, you can stick to hanging out with Sarah. I'm, I'm good. I, I guess you could say I like riding cock, I guess. What? That's twice. That's twice. That's canon. That's canon. That's canon. Hold up. Hold up. I'm good. Hold up. I got it. Give me one more chance. Give me one more chance. No, no. Continue with me. You have to roll with what you just said. Give me one more chance, please. One more. No. That is canon. No, it's not. Just let him one more time. One more time. Stop so the count. Shun, you seem envious of that chicken. You like riding cock or something? <laughs> the only one here who enjoys riding cock is Sarah, Kitten. Or Limo. If that ain't the truest thing I've ever heard, Shun. Does she understand? She's sitting right next to me. She's here at all of this. Oh. I don't think... I don't know if that would be a <laughs> slang in her, her language. I don't know if it yeah. translates... No, it, it, would, it would literally it just mean like riding male chicken. <laughs> so she's just confusedly looking at you two, like trying to understand what you're saying. The live mode just looks at her, grins, and starts like darting his eyes up and then down at his throat. What? No! What does this mean? Oh. So she can understand what he's You got a riz roll about. for that. You got a riz roll for that. Riz roll, riz roll. Yep. Outside of the, the cursed carriage, the cursed interior, Ethaniel drives in serenity. And I, you know what? I'm gonna say Guitar Bard's up there as well, because I don't think Guitar Bard deserves to be subjected to whatever is going on inside the carriage. No, I'm moving up to the front. No, I'm gonna sit on the top of the carriage. No, you're not. No, you're with me. No, I'm sitting on top of the carriage. I will be on top of the box. No. Alright, Jacob, I got a 14 on performance. Riz roll. 14 Riz. It didn't okay. change like anything. It's like 13 now, yeah. She's still right. the same. What, you, what, what, Jacob? It didn't change anything. She still views you the same. No good or bad impact. No, but does she understand now? This, I, I Dude. guess. Caden, this Dude. isn't like The Sims. You can't just force flirting. It doesn't max out the love meter. You can't just keep saying stuff and make someone love you more. That's not how it works. It's Caden's res res no, does she under does she understand what the chicken means? Now? The wait, wait, chicken. hold on. Hold on, future prediction. Is Limo gonna ask Harlan to make a rizometer? Dude, no. <laughs> she can kind of understand, but as well, like everything Limo says is an innuendo. She just so she doesn't think this is like slang. She thinks this is something that you just made up. <laughs> Alright. Dude, what the hell? Dude. Let's get into gear. <laughs> get in gear. I'm in gear. The hassle dad encounter got everyone riled up. Uh, uh, riled up. All right, Jake. You're in the woods. All right. <laughs> Dude, I just I just stopped back to what Elijah said. I do like riding cock. You could say. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up, man. I messed up so many Elijah, times. I was first. trying to speak. Uh, I, just, I was no, trying to speak. Like, the stuff. only one who likes riding cock is you, libel. But I guess you could say I like riding cock. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, and I was like, wait, that don't make sense. It's you know? like you're trying to raise Limo. <laughs> Elijah, that's going to forever be on YouTube now. Oh. I, uh, man, uh, digital oh, footprint. Digital God. footprint. I, I guess All right. you could say... I... <laughs> Right. Guys, this isn't canon to me in real life. The fog <laughs> is coming. Okay, Dude, the fog is coming. <laughs> the fog All is right. coming. <laughs> Guitar Bard and Ethaniel preserve their innocence on the front of the carriage. <laughs> I leave it open to roleplay. Bro, is Drake up there too? Oh, it's it's quite a pleasant trip. I'll add a note. You oh hear Limo God. grunting the whole time. Shut up. This conversation goes on. All right. <laughs> 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 Grab a hammer and a saw, and now we have got it. Get a hammer and a saw and a drill right, and a measure. Up. And I'm, I'm, I'm leaving it open for you to talk, Ruby. All, All right. right. All right. Here we go. Ah. It's quite the pleasant trip we have going. <laughs> no, it's not. I say. I'm German. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, just let him cook. Let me cook. Okay. Go ahead, Barb. Say, I know you said you were okay with it earlier. I just want to make sure. You sure you're alright? Leaving your family behind? You can see a... semi-sadness come over my face. And I look off. It'll be okay, Bard. Life continues on. It has to. That's That part of my life has closed and... We're still here, right? I look back. Always will be. He kind of puts his hand on Ethaniel's shoulder and he goes, If you ever want to talk about it, just let me know. I know how hard it is to leave family. Hmm. I, I nod and nod my head. Thank you, Bart. Thank you. Ah, oh, well, Sulphur Springs. I'm looking off as we're riding along this bumpy mountain trail. The carriage is jumbling back and forth. You can hear a screech here and there from Limewell as it's bumping from the rocks on the trail. You also hear, It's sticky! I grin, and then I say, That name... Here we go. <gasps> place i i'm guessing you've never been been to sulfur springs have you i chuckle look at you questionably <laughs> i suppose not though everywhere in this world's kind of new to me i just didn't know i know you being a traveler of worlds and all i didn't know if sulfur springs might have been one of your stops i was hoping you'd know what we might encounter there i'm gonna be honest with you i grin I'm a little put off by the name. What makes you worried? I don't know. I just got a... You know how sometimes you get a feeling at the pit of your stomach when something bad's about to happen. I don't know. Maybe it's just... Just nerves. I look off. <laughs> we'll be all right, as long as we have our backs. Mm. I nod. And then we continue on. Roll perception, both of you. God damn it, oh, 23. No. Let's go, 23. Natural 20 plus 22. Oh, Let's go. God. Yay! I, 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 I did not... <laughs> Little girls, they make me feel so good. Little girl, little girl. Little girl, Gated, gated, little girl. gated. Save that for me. Okay. Wait, what? Nishun? Little Lore update? Little, little no, Nishun, I said Caden. I said Caden. I didn't say Lima. All right, let's... Up ahead, surprisingly, on the Obsidian Highway, you see a campfire built in the middle of the road and a man sitting around it. <gasps> he is dressed poorly, to say the least, and he um, has some sort of pot hanging above the fire and he's playing a, a strange instrument that you have never seen before. Guitar. It sounds like a violin, but it has a crank. Not the Sea of Thieves instrument. Should we check in on him? He turns to Nathaniel. Well, it wouldn't be right if we didn't. Would it? I pull over and... Call he is, him. like, right in the middle of the road, by the way. I feel like I should have specified oh. that. <laughs> yeah, he's, Bro, he, he's quite literally right. blocking your path. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, as we start nearing him... I pull back on the reins and I go, whoa, whoa. And you hear the horses go, yeah. ready to pair. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, stand up in my seat. And I call you, you down there. 
Are you okay? He stops playing his instrument and looks up at you both. He has a five o'clock shadow on his face. Is there something I can do for you? Well, I'm gonna be honest, there is. I look at him with a stern face. I would, uh, I'm gonna kindly ask you to move over a little bit so we can continue on. If you wouldn't mind, please. Jeez. He looks to his left and to his right. Are you familiar with the concept of around? Hey, Mario. I am. Are you you curious? I look at him even more sternly. I am. I'm going to ask you to go around our carriage and sit over there. And I point to the side of the road, the side of the carriage. He looks at you. I'm all peeps through the curtains to see what's going on outside. There's no windows on the box. And how did you get? How did you get There's out? There's a door that goes out of the box to the front. Yeah, that's why Lymo's peeping through you, idiot. <laughs> okay. Dude, he didn't God. think he was. He can't even see from the side. <laughs> His neck is <laughs> reaching around the side of the box door to the side. No, of course I went through the door. God. Oh my God. Mm-mm. There is no windows. There ain't no windows. <laughs> Oh, no, no windows. <laughs> he looks at you. All right, all right. I don't know what part of the country you're from, but I can't exactly move a lit fire. I'm cooking. Well, cook. brewing coffee. Would you boys like some? Because what brings you to this part anyway? <sighs> I sigh audibly, and I step down from the carriage. Well, Hold up. Let him brew. I walk over and plop down on the other side of the fire. Pass me a cup, would you? He passes you and pours you a cup of coffee. Lima well, was left the carriage, and he's just watching this unfold. You all have noticed the carriage has stopped, by the way. If not, any explanation given is... Yeah, that's why I got out. I take a long, deep sip of the Joe. It's been a minute since I've had a cup of hot coffee. Feels good. It is a very good cup. (sighs) I apologize, stranger, for my rudeness back there. Had a lot on my mind on the road. I look off. Eh, don't think much of it. At least you didn't spit on me. Hmm. Like well, the others. I gotta ask your so- name, friend. <coughs> my name's Jack. Just got out of prison, Jack. Actually. Hmm. <laughs> or at least that's what others call me. Jack. Well, Jack, my name's Boone. Nathaniel Boone. Put out my hand. He shakes it with his horn glove. Interesting. Interesting. I kind of tilt my head. Interesting. Why is that? Very power. Very much in a name of a frontiersman. I just don't know what a frontiersman would be doing all the way out here. <laughs> well, it's in the name, my, my friend Jack. Exploring the frontier. Smile. Where are you folks heading anyways? Well, we're on a little bit of a expedition of sorts to find a place called Sulphur Springs. Heard of it? Huh. Just up the road. I've been heading there myself before I stop to sit down here and take a break. <coughs> Hell, Jack. Might as well take uh, the rest of the trip with us. Save you some energy and those... You know, your feet must be tired. 
Oh. Y'all are just too kind. It says. Think nothing you of it. You know. Well. You boys have a. You must surely have a mission. Oh, we, uh, we plan to go to Florida after we uh, get done here in Sulphur Springs. Well, that's perfect. He says as he quickly extinguishes the fire and um, uh, tosses the coals to the side of the road and puts everything in a sack. And he hangs over his back because I didn't have anything else better to do. And he walks over and steps on the wheel and climbs up onto the roof of the carriage and lays down and makes himself comfortable. Is this Jack White? Dude, no, this is not Jack White. You've got a new DM NPC for the party. Wait, what? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 straight out of based. straight out of prison, Jack the hobo. Wait a minute. Wow, that's great. I'm glad. I've been missing our uh, NPCs. I've been missing NPCs. Shit. We. This is the first one we had, Elijah. No, we had Lyle before. Okay, yeah, that wasn't was really a. Well, no, he was with well, us the whole time. Lyle, Lyle is like Sarah. Yeah. Like, this is this okay. actually well, like Sarah, a character? Sarah's technically a DM NPC, but yes, this is a character in the party. So oh. our level of character in the party. Yes. Oh. I have to make a character sheet for him specifically yet, yeah, but he is part of the. Elijah, he's, are you going like to do art for him? Now. Yes, please do draw straight out do of what prison. I will. Jack. Oh man, I was hoping it would have been Doctor Harlem. Yeah, that's okay. I'm so glad we got something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't hold your horses. DM NPCs can be switched out every now and then. How many can we have? You can only have one at a time, but you can call in whatever one you need at any given time. And I don't want to, I didn't want to have to spoil this, but I will to explain the mechanic. If you complete um, Hasseldorf's mission, he will also be able to be swapped as an NPC in the party. Ooh. Oh, base. I'm going to keep him for... Mm. Mm. Bro, we have actual mm. missions now? We have side quest missions? Bro. I, man, this is like a bit game now. What yeah, the it hell? actually feels like a game now. It actually feels like a game. <laughs> what the <Yeah>. fuck? <laughs> this is the Bro. first time where I've, it's like actually felt like a game. But the, the disadvantage is if they're a merchant and an NPC, you can't buy anything from them while they're in. And then so like if we if we switch mm. in Hasseldad for play, Jack Jack's White's gonna still be with us. He's just well, gonna no, be he'll somewhere. Be, he'll be somewhere, but you can call him back whenever you want. I have Bro, to think also, of a class. Also, he will travel or... with us. It'd be cool if he still traveled with us. That's gonna get. That's gonna be really cluttered. Dude, I hate that we just well, gotta ring him up. Wait. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. This this should be what he looks like. I'm just sending. <laughs> Bro. Dude, honestly, I would. Is be that so the hobo down. or Hassle Dad? Uh, Jack, I would love a Jack that's like Jack. that. Hassle Dad just looks like Hassle Dad. You know, yeah, I like. I that. think I that's think Hassle Dad with beard though. I really like that. That's Why does Jack. hobo Mike look like Walt? Like Mike? He's like Mike because Mike it Irma. is. I know. I know it's Mike Irma. It's obviously Mike Irma. Look at the nose. Look at the ears. Look at the look face. Face. It's, it, Hit it's the road, Walter. Jack, it's and don't you come back Walter. no more. Shit, well, I'm glad I'm glad I wasn't too much of an asshole to him. I was feeling me. Yeah, I was yeah, a little bro. worried. I was a little yeah, worried because I'm like, I'm trying to give them a friend, and they're... Yeah, no, <laughs> Ethan is being here, an I'm asshole, like, and I was in a no, bad mood. <laughs> Ethan, Ethan, you realize, bro's going to have to move. I, was, move I, I thought the coffee was going to be poisoned. I was worried. I was like, oh, he just took You like that, boo? Bro. Uh, uh, How's that for moving like aside? <laughs> how do you it, how do you like the stevia boon? Dude. <laughs> Wait a minute. Does Jack have the mic voice? <laughs> we have to finish Hassel Dead's quest. We gotta finish Hassel Dead's quest. It's a Listen game now. Well, it's well, really a game now. It's actually a game. Oh my god. No, kids, stop. Broken. Okay. <laughs> it's like Zelda, do Cyclist. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. We gotta go like the Koroks. The game. The Koroks. What are the Koroks in this? Castle Dad's the Koroks? Shut up. All right. I'm, I'm going to bomb. Jacob, you can go ahead and go. All right. So, with 
Jack now sleeping on the roof of your carriage. You all head up the valleys and winding until now everybody roll perception. Oh my god. You bro. too, Jack. Oh, here we go. It's gonna be Doug. 17. 11. Wait, does that mean he, he can roll too? Ooh, new battle person! <gasps> They... Uh, he can, but I control him, so I get to decide when he rolls. Please, he will. Peek. He will participate in combat, though. I got twenty. That's what I was saying. I ho I was like, does he participate in combat? That's based. Mm -hmm. I got. I got a twenty. <laughs> no, no, so close to it. I got so close to a natural twenty. Dang, you All got right. six. Yeah, it was on natural twenty, then rolled over to two. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Elijah, put on um the music I was talking to you about, the more recent stuff, one of them. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> Suddenly, this wave of air washes over you, and it is the foulest stench it's you have feet. all ever smelled. It is worse than Limewell's feet. Oh, shit. Even, so even Jack plugs his nose. Bro, and that's and you and you look and you see a yellow haze in the sky as you see a, a poorly made wooden sign welcome to sulfur springs dude no oh as we're oh, right as we're no. riding up i look over to bard there's actual holding my here. nose pinching my nose and i just shake my head and i say hold yourself no <laughs> This place sucks. This is enough even to make Limewell kind of sick. Wow. <laughs> Sarah, let me throw up in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this place smells like shit. <laughs> Dude, he does not sound like that. When he's pinching his nose. Because <laughs> that can't be out what Ringo sounds like. Dude, no. <laughs> no. As no, the session, pull... I had an idea for... Like the third sugar bottom. All right. Oh God. As Winslow. you pull around the corner, not Winslow. You see <laughs> it. The smell is coming from these giant yellow rocks that are scattered <laughs> along the sulfur the trail. You have reached Sulfur Springs, and you arrive at a town center. There is no road. It's just mud, and you see people walking. Most of them barefoot, and very very questionable but this something about the something about the women in particular is very off in this village nishun as you look out the window of the carriage one woman curls her hair and smiles at you to reveal the most nasty teeth you have ever seen <laughs> in your entire life they look it looks like you know those signs at like a junction that have a bunch of arrows pointed in different directions at where different places are it's like that Dude, I'm gonna give a germ my smile back. <laughs> Bar Bar turns to Ethaniel and he goes, I can see why Hasseldorf left. I had a bad Bro. feeling about this. I'm surprised he was ever here. God. I don't want to take anything back from here. Little little kids begin to start to trail the carriage. And they start to throw the rocks at the feet of Hobo Jack as he gets off. Hey, you little fucks! And he pulls out a tiny little dagger and waves it at him to scare him off. <laughs> I was just about to say. Dude, I, like I, that know, I was I was literally just about to run to the back of the carriage and rip my sharp and go <laughs> and scare him off. I like this guy. You hear like him Hobo screaming Jack. out, visitors! Visitors! Mm. So you're in the the town square. Well, what do you do, bro? It's the actual <laughs> sulfur vape, bro. Not the sulfur vape. But yeah, uh. no, you're you're in the town square. Now you see up on a hill in the distance there is an unusually large and nice house, but it's quite far away. Well, Hasseldorf. Asseldorf was gonna be anywhere. I would guess he'd probably be up at that house. Wait, what? 
Oh, well. I'm talking to dude. <laughs> well, Ethan, where are you? No, no. I I thought you were saying that he's here now at Sulphur Springs there, and I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> No, I know what you're saying now, that if he would have been anywhere, he would have been there. I yeah, said, like, if you he did been here. You did weird swear in the it, way I said that if he was there been, no, If you he said, is anywhere, he would be there. Yeah, you said if he is anywhere. That's, that's I said if, he if he were, no, if he were no, anywhere, no, if he was. All you have to say is, if he would have been anywhere, he would have been there. his past tense. even both heard you say if he was anywhere, he'd be there. It's fine. was his past tense. Oh my god. Whatever. Bro, the way you worded it, it was crazy. Jack, past tense. No, it Jack wasn't. Jack bangs around on the front of the carriage with his hand and says, Hey, stop at a saloon. I need to swish my mouth out with the smell of this place. Jack. I wouldn't touch the water if I were you. I was going to say the same thing. The same. Well, lick, the li hopefully the liquor will be good. I haven't been to a place with bad liquor yet. <laughs> As you're saying this, I get kind of curious. I want to I want to test a theory. As we're standing there, I dig around in my in my satchel and I feel my my stinky oh. blanket. Okay. Slowly, I pull it out and I unfurl it's, it and I hold it out in front of me. Same as it's deep, always been. Take a deep <laughs> whiff, and I don't smell anything. I just smell sulfur. It's so powerful. I can't even smell the stench okay. of the blanket. As you hold out this the blanket, cured the smell. Suddenly. Out of nowhere in the blanket, because of the air, you see little sparks appear and the blanket burns and incinerates. Oh. <laughs> no! That's my no, bedroom! He did not just lose the blanket. <laughs> Bro! No! That is the you saddest. The stinky blanket is gone. It is now Ethan, replaced you... with the stinky ashes. Dude, Ethan, you gotta create another blanket. You gotta go. Hey, I'm all no, 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 okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me roll place tonight. As the blanket burns and the embers fly and a little pile of dust starts forming on the ground, I, I drop to my knees. Limo sees this and you can see the pain in my eyes. I'm just sitting there with my hands out, like I'm still holding it, but there's nothing there. There's this little pile of burning ash on the ground. I kind of walk up next to Boone, I go, it was just a stinky blanket. Why are you so sad over it? I look over to the shoe. Shun. That was my first bedroll. <laughs> oh, it sounded like you were going to use it. You see a little kid in nothing but boots and a big t shirt come over. Whoa. And he picks the ashes off the ground and puts them in his mouth and runs away. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. dude. <laughs> Dude, what's that movie? Fuck, what's that movie where those kids go to that haunted house? The, ha the house is alive. Monster house? Yes, remember Bro. the fat kid that's eating in that movie? <laughs> and he runs away. <laughs> Limo <laughs> notices Boone's sorrow. No, look at, look at, fucking, look at, look at yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, wait. Perfect. Limo notices Boone's sorrow and he, go, he goes to give him a new uh, item. Gave me. It'll no, burn. Let him cook. It will burn. Wait, why is Limo burning right now? Limo takes his <laughs> bare foot out and put, and instead of and even touching Boone's clothing with it, a mist starts coming out of his foot. What the? And why it, would it be a And it, and it, enca <laughs> and it encapsulates all of Boone's clothing. All of That's his clothing wrong. is now Limo's feet smell on him. Bro, no, you should have put bro, the mist in a no, bottle. No, 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 I don't consent to I, this. No. This yeah. doesn't happen. Yeah. You can't shoot fucking stink <laughs> mist out your foot. I was foot. gonna say, this is the- this is Sierra mist. That's what that's called. That's the no, you know what, Kaden, okay, Jacob, can I at least put it in a jar? Yeah, wait, Kaden, know what you should do? Where did you get sock? a jar? No, Kaden. Dude, you know where I'm the jar. Kaden, Kaden, I've got an idea. You the jar, don't even ask. Kaden, wait, Kaden, I've got an idea. Bro, wait, the hold piss on, baptism. Kaden, I have an idea. <laughs> Kaden, Ring the, the your foot sweat out of your sock into a jar, so it's now a liquid of the stench, and it'll be even more potent. Ugh. No, you need to shut it <laughs> down. Right, no, it's over. It didn't happen. What? Okay. You can... So it's fine. So yeah, that's the end of it. Jacob, you can do whatever. Jacob, yeah. you should have let the foot miss. Oh my god! The... What the fuck is in chat? <laughs> 
hate that kid from the Dude. <laughs> the townspeople are very intrigued with all of you, and they all sort of surround you, with keeping a healthy distance. The women in particular draw closest. Hey, bend over. Shut up. <laughs> bend over. I woke so up guys, to... why don't why don't we go meet that sheriff? Oh, oh no, 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 stuff. not right. No, let's not do that yet. It's a bad idea. God, you literally said to God. avoid him. All right. Dude, man, so, Caden. All right, all right. Oh, let me cook. I see uh, one gal in particular standing out in front of us. She's a big woman. Big woman. <laughs> oh, God. And she's got, man. She's got a mouth on her, too. And How that's she not a good too, thing. Man. It's not a good thing. That gnarly, gnarly. <laughs> teeth they're yellowed sulfur yellow she's just smiling she's grinning full tooth grin she looks so happy for no reason at all but she's so happy and i walk up to her ma'am uh i gotta ask do you know where the um the saloon is if you have one kind of half smiling I'm a little smiling. nervous it's right over there. Oh my fucking <laughs> god! It's right over there. I don't think she's when right when, over she there. Points to it, when she points <laughs> to it, Jack plugging his nose jumps off the carriage and guns for the saloon. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing. Yeah, I'm Wait, going Jacob, with can Lima go on a solo? Everyone's mission running sheriff? away! You guys just left me behind! Bro, <laughs> <laughs> well, you just left Ethan and Sard. As y'all as she says that Jacob. all of you, Limewell, Nashoon, Ohm, Jack, all dash. Wait, no. When I'm running, no. I wanna yell the I wanna yell to Ethan, you two get a room! <laughs> <laughs> okay. What does she say after Nashoon says that? Or what does she do? She just sort of twiddles her hair and smiles a little bit more. Uh, thank Wait, you, ma'am. As I'm saying this, I'm kind of wa walking away backwards, smiling and kind of like waving, try to, trying to end the conversation. <laughs> Wait, Jacob. Dude, you're what? gone. You're gone. <laughs> Can Lima go on a solo mission looking for the sheriff? Dude! Why? Can't oh. stop! You've got no reason stop. to. I I lose it to avoid the sheriff. I don't dude. want to avoid the sheriff. Kane, Kane, the sheriff's gonna pull don't up anyway. Don't be that dude. Don't, don't, don't be Garouk. Okay, oh. don't be Garouk. Yeah. Jesus. I'm gonna put my hand into the black wall! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, do we all go to the saloon then? I, will, yes. I was saying, I'm backing away, walking backwards, speeding up, waving, trying to end the conversation, mm -hmm. thanking her. Does she do anything? Yeah. She just stays where she is. She doesn't right. follow. I turn, and then I start running as well. And I yell, wait oh. for me! Wait, what? You cut out. I didn't hear you. I said, wait for me! <laughs> All right. Elijah, change the music to another thing from this album, but not this one. Like a, a chiller one. All right. Man, this has been great so far. I love Sulfur Springs. Me too. I Home can't believe you've it. done this. Home <laughs> hates Sulfur Springs so much. I've been cooking <laughs> for so long. I think it was literally in like February. I was walking at the track at the gym, just thinking of ideas. And I'm like, who would Hassle Dad's contact be? And then I'm like, the smile maker, of course. <laughs> Wait, is he the dentist at Sulphur Springs? No. Bro. No, 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 no. no. Because, you know, they used to pull the teeth, and they had, like, the fucking horse <laughs> drill. Dude. Oh, God. Dude. <laughs> no. no what if he's replacing them, and instead of wooden teeth, he's replacing them with sulfur teeth? Oh, Bro. God, that's why they're yellow. The yep. Okay. When you enter the tavern, it's actually a slightly more pleasant smell because all of the windows and doors, they have like wet rags at the top and bottom to keep the smell from <laughs> entering. And the people in here are of a, a little bit nicer caliber, although not by much. And um, there's a bar in the back, there's Splatoons, and there's a couple tables. Shall we take the bar, Boone? 
I need a drink, I say. Yeah, you're telling me. I don't think even whiskey can smell stronger than that. Just oh, moan. I've got a headache. You've got more than a headache. Jack, call it. Get us a drink. Dude, dude. Hey, yo, you. I, I'm I here. Call it. Call it. There are two. There's one bartender. He's a short guy. He's about 5'5", five five, and he's bald, and he has no hair on his face. But he has the, like, old-timey bartender uniform with, like, the vest and the thing on his arm. Like, the weird stripe and the uniform. What'll it be? Whiskey. Yeah. On the rocks. Dude, what? You know what on the rocks means, Ledger? On the, ro on the yeah, rocks, coming good. right up. Dude, how do they have you eyes? See him, no, you, no, you no. see him pour, pull up some glasses <laughs> with yellow rocks no! in them. No! I knew it! <laughs> Ingle! Ingle, come out here! Come Ingle. out here, Ingle! <laughs> Suddenly, from the no. back, this lumbering eight-foot-tall very skinny man with a bowl Bro. cut and overalls comes out and he sort he get, doesn't appear brother. he's able to go oh, <laughs> pour him their drinks <laughs> he oh, and he reaches behind the counter and pours out a bottle and pours you all Imagine some his whiskey face like anton Chigurh, the bowl cut Bro. you got everything it. else as as, as the <laughs> Loafing, oafing man slides the drinks to us. I just look in despair at this glass <laughs> of whiskey on the rocks. The sulfur is bubbling in the glass. I would <laughs> like to just I, get some normal whiskey or rum. Do they have rum? Lime will gulps the yeah. whole thing in one big slurp. I look, uh, at, uh, I look to Jack. To your surprise. Say, it actually isn't that horrible, Limewell. Yeah, for him. Okay. okay, it may taste good, but it probably has horrible effects on the end of the future. Not you. <laughs> you're, you're immune. I looked at Jack and I say, "You've got to be kidding me. Are you gonna go first? Boom! This shit's baller as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. He, he what did you just looks say? at his glass with some trepidation. He. Pulls a match out of his pocket and lights it and pour, puts it in, and the glass erupts into flame and burns off almost all of the liquor and sulfur until there's just a little at the bottom. And he looks at it and swishes it around and sips it. I've had worse, but I've had better too. Hell, I guess I will. I pick up the glass and I look in the shoe. You've got to do it with me at the same time, though. I I just pick up my glass and clink it and I go, you ready? Bottoms up. <laughs> I'm just walking like one seat down as he is his room without without the rocks. <clears throat> that was that was actually pretty good. Oh, to you your surprise, it, it is pretty good. It, the sulfur taste is very subtle, not a lot. If anything, it seems to be doing the opposite of ice, where the sulfur is heating up the drink, not cooling it down. Um looks at them, and he smiles and says, Give it 48 hours. What do you mean? Oh, shit. Yeah, of course it's gonna do something. Wait. It's gonna do something. I looked into Shun, and then I looked at Ohm, and I looked both back between the both of you. Very frightened. It's sulfur, Boone. What do you think? Oh, of course, this is going to be good for you. Don't worry about that. Let's just live in the present. <laughs> there won't be a present tomorrow. Sarah begins to tug on your sleeve. What? Why no? Why no? What? You turn around, and she <laughs> is tugging to get your attention. She looks very scared as three men are just very slowly approaching her in <laughs> awe. <laughs> <laughs> Also in gameplays, that canonically the guys. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's two men and that's them. 
<laughs> no, those are the that. guys at the bar. Those are the uh, bar <laughs> they have they have names. They have like little name badges. The bald guy's is spit, and the, the <gasps> guy with bowl cut. His name is Bile. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what is Ingle? What's, what's Ingle look like? Dude. Oh wait, no, that oh. is Ingle. I'm wrong. Oh, spit and Ingle, not Bile. Wrong. Oh, sorry, what did you, what did you say those people are doing? You're slowly they're approaching. Like, they're like approaching Sarah. Three men. Sarah. Why more just stands? Limo stands. You, Caden, just put your and hands in. Limo stands and looms over them and puts his and puts his hands on their shoulders. His three hands. <laughs> Dude, you gotta say, do you want to go to Harlem? <laughs> <laughs> you boys need to sit down, or I'm gonna send you to Harlem. <laughs> do I need to do I need to roll intimidation? That's a pretty lady you got there. Say I'm prettier, Caden. Huh? <laughs> <Come> <laughs> <on>. <laughs> I was about to say that, dude. Oh, I was hook, Elijah. <laughs> I'm prettier, boy. <laughs> yeah, you are pretty pretty. <laughs> oh, no. I'm a twitch they sort of look, but they they slowly back away and go back to the table, but they keep their eyes on you. <laughs> oh, no! Caden, you gotta get a room. Limo well, sits down next to Sarah and he, he <laughs> That is the guys. That's how they were looking. Limo well, sits next to Sarah and he wraps his lanky arm around her. And it wraps around twice because it's so long. God, that makes no sense. <laughs> no. So no, it I, comes I'm... over to you and Nishun. Oh. <laughs> so... I, I don't mean to intrude, but uh, what brings y'all folks to Sulphur Springs? Uh, we're retrieving some goods for a friend. I say, huh. uh, you know of a man called by the name of Smile, Smile Baker. Baker. We're looking for He him. looks at you with some trepidation. You mean the Smile Maker? I guess yep. so. Yep. He's a man of legend. They say he lives up there on the mound. He, I've never seen him myself, but they claim he makes the best moonshine liquor this side of the plateau. He's got four arms and milky white eyes, and he huh? can make a moonshine like nobody else. <laughs> well, is he myth or legend? Myth or man? We get his moonshine, but we never do see him. I haven't seen him myself. Uh, some people claim to have, though, but they they keep quiet. You see, uh, technically, his moonshine is illegal in this here town, and if Sheriff Doug and oh Miss Heather were to find out, no. it would not be good. Oh. Whoa, I gotta ask, you got me down here that I could try? You boys meet me in the back. Oh. He says as he goes by like into a, a room behind the bar. Cue some it's, sus it's, bluegrass. I don't know if sus I get sus bluegrass. bluegrass. Yeah, it's not real. It is real. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, you better be glad that the first pick I picked is gold. Better be. I, I looked at Limewell. We gotta go like, get the moonshine. Would you, hey, would you and Sarah like to come and try some moonshine? I'd love that, Michoud. Well, alright. Come on, Jack. Pat you on the shoulder. Pat some on the shoulder. I would like to come with. You're not allowed. Stay in here. <laughs> Bro. I kick I Nishun in the thigh. He goes, oh. Bro. Oh. Uh, I didn't say that. Come on, Nishun. No. Come on, Ohm. You all go into the back, and he leads you down into a basement. Down here, the smell is completely clear. There's no sulfur in the air. God, it smells great down here. Okay. And he 
there's a metal safe in the back that he, he cranks open and he pulls out this five gallon jug it's clear made of glass and the liquor inside is as clear as spring water have a little sip don't overdo it who wants to go first i will oh, go lime well i'll oh, go <laughs> I think it's always this fitting more. Well. Roll to first. go first. This is roll a d20. Two goes first. We could, or we could just do initiative. True. Let's initiative. <laughs> just roll. Yeah, roll initiative. All right, got a twenty. Get oh, out of my way. We'll got watch twenty-four. Me. Man, I'm gonna get the most mid. Oh my, I ain't beating it. You rolled saving throw. Yeah, you rolled saving throw. Oh my god. Dude, that's not initiative. That's intelligence. Bro. Dude. Where is it? <laughs> it's beside armor class. Oh, All bro. right, I got 12. I got 12. Bro, oh, bro, really said intelligence. Oh, we I'm got 19. Intelligent enough to drink. Yeah. I got so, 11 or 12. So is 19 the highest? Did anyone no, get a 20? Cadence is the highest. Cadence. Caden got a 20. I got a 12. Bart is going to opt out. Okay, so it'll be, right. it'll, the lineup is Lime, Limewell. I think Holm, it's fitting that Limewell takes the first Nishun, drink. Nishun, then me. Man, so, Jacob, we gotta watch Raising wait. Arizona. Yeah, I haven't. I've heard. I've, well, no, I have seen that movie. I've seen bits and pieces of it. But <clears throat> he takes the cork off this jug and guides a little bit into your mouth. And the second the liquor touches your tongue, <laughs> it just completely like numbs the whole inside of your mouth. And when you swallow it, you can feel it numb in your throat completely as it goes down. No. The only thing you've had that is on this caliber is Johnny Appleseed's moonshine. You are thoroughly drunk. I swear to God, if Johnny is a smile maker, that would make no sense. You don't know that. He could <laughs> be known as a smile maker, and this is where he Who lives. Who goes next? Oh, and then oh. me. You drink this, and this is the strongest liquor you have ever had in the entire world. Nothing you've seen from any of your travels has compared to this in strength. You, As they're you taking get, their sip, you why more feel your whole over. face getting warm as soon as you drink it. As Ohm's taking a sip, why more hobbles, hobbles over to Boone. <laughs> what? Um, I'm just, I'm just dude, and he slaps him on the ass. Bro, Ohm. As he's going to slap my ass, I put my hand down to grab his hand, and I look him right in the face with a very stern eye, and I just oh my shake my head no. No! no. Bro really thought he was Caesar from Planet of the Apes. One old just holds his hand and starts shaking around. You like that, booty? <laughs> I'm, well, I think you need Who to goes sit next? Down. Me. I'm opting out, I think. <laughs> Dude, no. Nah, you, can't. you can't opt out. You already rolled initiative for Oh, true. God. Alright, I go. Call this wagon. Listen. But anyway, you um take a swig in a shoon, and you you can't help but shudder a little bit as it you can feel it. But you can handle it. You're not yeah! terribly drunk, but you're like, it's definitely there. You feel mildly happy. Yeah, more socially outgoing a little bit. And holding then Limewell, I believe- Okay, holding Limewell back, yeah, I looked in the shoe and I say, buddy, how are you feeling? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> I looked at the barkeep. Well, give me just just a drop, please. Give him the whole bottle. <laughs> you see, he tilts it and puts just a little tiny drop on the end of the cork and dabs it on your tongue. And you feel it. It's not like Johnny Appleseed levels, but you're sort of where Nishun's at, where you're you're okay, but it's definitely there. Come on, give him some more. I, I step back, 
fingers feel cold. My toes feel hot. The hell was that? I don't I know. hot all over, man. <laughs> I, I don't know, but I feel back. like dancing. Wait, has Sarah taken a sip? Sarah takes a sip, and she starts to smile, oh. and then she just sort of slowly falls to the floor. <laughs> Whoa. Jack takes this sip and he smiles. And, mm, it's, it's pretty good. good. It's yeah, pretty it's, good. It is pretty good. Yeah. I feel like I badly. feel like I'm worth a million dollars. You're worth two cents. No, I'm trolling. <laughs> well, I'm also playing patty cake yeah. with Sarah's ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's, bro, well, she's, she's anyway. on the ground asleep. That's a soul. You didn't say she went to sleep. Dude, she's he said unconscious on the ground, bro. She she's really like that Pat, she's like blacked out, like she, bro, you, she's dude. done. Man, you can't just you just can't make her unconscious every time. Soon you gotta let me have my way, dude. Be away. You already get in your way like once a <laughs> session. <laughs> what do you want? Anyway, let um, him go all the way. The bartender corks and puts it back in the safe. We gotta cherish this stuff. We don't get much of it very often but y'all yeah. were looking for the fella the smile maker i kind of lean on my feet balance just a tad bit off yeah we are and you say he uh lives up on the hill on that that big old house oh no not the house that, that that's that's where miss heather and lives you want to go to the the other mountain to the left just go right up it. It's very steep, but if you get to the top, that's where he's claimed to be. He works there with his buddies. What do you recommend we do if we uh, run into this Doug or Heather or both of them? Play it cool and act like you've heard nothing of the Smile Maker or whoever sent you to talk about the Smile Maker. <laughs> we see him. We'll just tell him we were in the woods. Dude. Dude, <laughs> the there are no says rules. that. Mishu, there are no rules, man. We're law. Quit acting like you know the rules. Dude, I don't know the rules, Mishu, do you? There <laughs> are no lost. rules, man. We're <laughs> lost. <laughs> We're lost. I just as shake I do my this, head. No, as I do this, I grab Wymo's shoulders. I just go over and go. <laughs> 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 I take a step back. Jack and Ohm are away, and I step back with them, and I look to the both, and I just shake my head in disapproval. What we're watching, y'all. You're drunk too, buddy. Don't forget. You know what? How about when we dance? I'd like to dance. Oh, Jack dance. comes up to you and puts his hand on your shoulder and points a guitar part. Look, look at that. Look how funny that guy looks. <laughs> How about you go Bro, take his off. mask off? No, I'm sure he's got I big old that. bug eyes. He's got big old <laughs> bug eyes. <laughs> this is not Nashun's character. What did you say? He got bug eyes. He got drunk. bud eyes. He is he horrific. Got bud eyes. Bug. Bud. Bug eyes. Speak, Speak English. I don't think Spanish either. Did you say bud eye? I say you can hear me from the back of the room. Nishuni, Boone, he's speaking Spanish. I don't speak sugar lime. The um, oh. uh, the bartender, Mr. Spit, goes up to Guitar Bard. Um, I don't want to be rude, but they're kind of a liability here to be partying in my basement. I suggest you get them all together and try to go meet that smile maker. No pressure, of course. <laughs> it's just, you know, I don't post free parties in my wait, basement. Wait, wait, wait. I got an idea, but, Mr. Spit. Yeah. Listen, they won't know we're drunk if everyone's dancing. We got the whole bar to dance. Uh, I think it's a dance battle right now. We gotta be no, we're not no I mean, not a battle. I mean, just, just we have a little jig. He's just one old fashioned hoedown, but that's gonna yeah. get the attention we're... of Doug and Heather. Okay, wait. Swirl. I know what we gotta do. I know what we gotta do. You know what? That's a good idea. Oh, we we can just lock arms and go in circles till we can't do circles. We do squares. Dude. No, let's all let's all do this real quick before we leave. 
Yeah, I know what you're saying. Red Dead Redemption. They're all dancing at the bar, Caden. Yep. Yep. We gotta <laughs> do it. We gotta do it. <laughs> Jacob, we, we go upstairs, and everybody has a quick dance before you leave. And right as you're about to end the dance, the door swings music open, budget. and the music stops. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Everyone stops. Sheriff sure, Nook. Standing in the door frame is a man in jeans, boots, a vest, and a hat with a beard and a massive gut. Dude, what the fuck? His penis is out. He's better get in the hot tub. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I heard we had visitors. What the fuck? I think. I'm immediately sobered up. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> sober. Bro immediately makes everyone sober with his presence. Uh, yeah, we were uh, we were just stopping by in town. Hmm. Stopping by. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Who are you? He walks up to you and he points at his badge. Sheriff Doug. <laughs> Dude. Is that short for Douglas? No, short it's for just Doug. D U G. Dude, it's not even D O U G. It's. <laughs> Oh God, Doug! Dude, it's it's Doug, Doug. Doug. It's Doug Dirt. <laughs> yeah, Dirt Doug. Well, he looks to Nathaniel. Are you the leader of this here platoon? I I wouldn't call myself a leader, but I wouldn't call myself a follower. But yeah, I'd say but that you I are a dick swallower. No, I'm joking. Shut up. Why is Boone yeah. have the, like like a southern accent now? Yeah, I know. I'm like I'm kind of like I'm still a little tipsy. When Dude, I get no, tipsy, you're not. I... You had less you... than me. Yeah, you I had know, that before. I, you know, you had that has before. a low tolerance. Boone, yeah, yeah, Boone does have a low tolerance. Anyway, you also had the you had the red well, accent before. <laughs> the bartender speaks up. Yeah, they was just in buying some liquor. <laughs> What happened to the bartender? <laughs> no way. The bartender? So, yeah, I didn't yeah, turn the voice changer off. Oh, I'm not yeah. gonna turn. I'm not gonna turn the voice changer off for one line. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the Jeff. That's how we all feel right now. Just looking at it. Yeah. He, well, <laughs> you are helping the economy of Gopher Springs, and I guess I uh, have a good time. But if I can give a little advice, don't stay here too long. We wouldn't want Miss Heather to find out about these two. And using his index and ring finger, he points to Nishun and Sarah. Bro! What's wrong with them? Miss Heather don't like them. Oh. Why doesn't she like? And them? he just turns around and he leaves. Oh, Miss Heather don't crap. like them. Bro. Miss Heather don't dude, Doug is a menace. Bro, we don't like their kind here. Dude, this is the evil opposite version of mom. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The roles were reversed. Yeah. Here. <laughs> God. You the bar is completely silent except for one man in a corner who appears to have broken down into tears at seeing Doug. Happy tears? I look to the bartender. Sad tears. I look to the barkeep and then I nod at hit the guy in the corner crying and I say, What's wrong with him? Why is he crying like that? Some of us don't have very good experiences with Miss Heather. Well, come on, man. Hush up, boy. Stop your crying. <laughs> you know what we're up to. Shut up. Okay. You know what? I know. I'm going to have to incorporate hush up, boy, with lawnmower. 
Hush up, boy. Is she um I don't know, I don't know what you call matriarch or something, but what what what's her role in this this town? She's the founder. She's the one who first set up shop here when she built the library, but with with age, so I don't know what exactly changed. She's got more more demanding and that that their sheriff Doug is he she's got him wrapped around her finger. Sounds like this place needs to be under new management. <laughs> God dude I'm having a bad, bad bad day. Not the Freddy Fazbear line. That's <laughs> not the Fred dude, that is not dude I think <laughs> the, the, the guy in the corner, line, bro. That's the, no, Titan. no, that no that'd be if, if, Freddy Fazbear is under new management next game. What? <laughs> I, didn't, then bro, he, I didn't know that. I was thinking of Titan. He continues the story. It's weird because, you know, we thought we thought that Heather died years ago, decades ago even, but then Doug starts insisting that she's still alive. And he oh. never leaves her house, but they say if you go up at night and you look in the right window, you can see her standing there looking out upon her creation. Are you telling me you got a four-armed man that makes moonshine and then the apparition of a woman that still controls this town? I look at him, with tilting my head. He sort of smiles and shrugs. <laughs> Shoot, well, apparently so. I never heard it said like that before, but yeah, yeah. you get anyone... used to it. If anyone needs to run this town, it's a smile maker. Well, then maybe you should go try to see if you can get him off the mountain. We might have a bit of a campaign in this town. I like the sound of it. I smile. Well, oh, wish us luck. We're going to go try to find this smile maker. All right, put on some music. Also, add a game real quick, Ethan. We have to try and get the smile maker in control. Dude, we're going to topple gonna over. going to own the town? <laughs> we're going to topple over. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to topple over the matriarchy. We're going to... We're gonna, the smile maker will be in control. So the spirit of... Possibly, the spirit of Heather is controlling Doug Shaker. Privateer Doug. Or well... What the fuck. Well, what they don't know for sure. All they know is that they never leave. Heather never leaves her mansion, and apparently she died. But then Doug started saying that she was still alive, and apparently he believes it genuinely. And apparently you can see her, but she never leaves the house. None of the YouTube That's watchers are gonna have any idea who these characters are. <laughs> Don't context, shake your ass. YouTube. Listen, Hold you don't on, need to do know. It. Let me do just a slight context. YouTube, if anyone is watching this, Doug is mine and Elijah's stepdad. Heather yep. is my mom, and Smile Maker is my grandfather on my father's side. Yeah, well, not yeah. Well, yeah, no, kind of. Yeah, yeah. No, wait, yeah. So. There's more lore, but I'm not going to explain it at the moment. Just it's just lore, not for your knowledge. Yeah. The Doug Shaker. I had, I had no idea. Yeah. You don't you need did, to know. You didn't know who Doug was? No. Doug's anyway. my dad. Dude. Yeah. Well, that's not his actual name. That's certainly his nickname, Doug. It's James. But yeah, let me just call him Doug. From Doc's stepdad live. Oh, yeah. Anyway. You do the Doug Shaker. Y'all are now climbing this mountain. It is very, very steep. And it's... You gotta, like, actually climb on the rock. This isn't just like you're walking up it. You're, you're literally climbing it at times. Oh, is incredibly good at this. <laughs> he did do it well. The liquor wears off as you climb. And eventually, after hours and hours of climbing, just as the sun has started to set, you reach a clearing at the top of the mountain. 
And up there appears to be a very small village. Change the music to something different. Elijah, you've got to play this song at some point. Hold up. Elijah, I'm going to send it to you. What? Oh, yeah. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Doesn't count. I didn't even time it this session. I didn't realize I was doing that. I didn't realize I was incorporating the mother and then it was on Mother's Day. I didn't even know that. Oh, W is. W is. Guys, did you see what I sent? Yes, I did. See the name, too? Guys, the NASDAQ is down 15%. Listen to it, Elijah. Okay. Do I gotta listen on Clarence Fingerbottom? This Please sucks. play this song. When? Wait, are we doing creepy music right now, or? Why well, don't uh, think so? I do, I do tense, but not creepy. Okay, don't well, dude, why does the smile make your tits? Elijah, <laughs> Elijah, <laughs> please play this song at some point. It is the uh, Sulphur Springs anthem, or one of the mountain songs. You have to. Oh, okay. Listen yeah. to it. You should listen to the lyrics. Man, I also want to play some Pearl Eyes. You and can do that next. Because for, for the um thing, this this bluegrass is good at times, but I feel like for the scene, it's next one, it's it's a little much. Like, it's too fast. So Burl There's Ives too much going good? on. Okay. Yeah. I know exactly what song. Did you? All right. Sorry. Yeah, I heard what you play, Ethan. I heard it. That album's got some really good stuff on it, just besides that one, too. Alright. So, how tense are we feeling? What playlist? Mildly tense. It's just a little eerie. This whole place is a little eerie. Okay, well, yeah, bluegrass in itself is eerie, if you think about it. Also, I'm doing, like, Robert Johnson, bro. That would work. Oh my god, actually, you're right. Oh my god. Where are you, Robert Johnson? Come on! I ain't got time or place for you. Uh, Jacob, how? Where are we? Time wise, like. Um, we just got like one more scene, then we're done. Okay. Dang! Really? I yeah, thought we were, we're gonna, gonna finish. finish. I thought we were gonna finish the whole. I'm glad this is gonna be a two parts. Me too. A, I really tire. like Sulphur Springs. I want to sp yeah. yeah, I definitely want to spend more time in Sulphurville. I'm just, I'm just, I'm glad we weren't gonna like go another two hours. I'll finish up the thing because I'm really tired. Okay. Starting to get a headache. Yeah, I gotta wake up early tomorrow too because I got a Mother of the Day gift planned. Duncan's gonna make a smoothie. No. <laughs> he's, coconut. He's gonna. Yeah, I was say coconut milk. Water. And then I say milk. I said water. Milk water. <laughs> he's gonna give. Yeah, he's gonna build his mama water. Gundam. <laughs> Duncan, I'm gonna give you my milk. Bend over, bend over. Come on, Duncan, bend over. That music, just starting back up. <laughs> All right, pull up. This song's gonna be very silly, but it works, and it makes me happy that I get to play this for the Smile Maker. <laughs> I completely forgot we're here to do Smile Maker's quest so we can get our pigs and horses. Hassle and Dad's horse. quest. And I can oh. get my cock. Oh. Dude. <laughs> it's a small empty door <laughs> of, of ramshackle wooden houses. And there's a fog on the ground, a very light fog. But up on the porch in the distance, you think you can see someone sitting. Roll perception as you get closer. God, why did this work so well, bro? I was worried, but this song works so well. I got well. 18. 18. I got a two. Oh, I got I got a natural one. Limol gets, Limol gets permanent blindness for the rest. I of also I got 10. Bard and um, guitar bard are the first to notice it. Sitting on the porch, you see this reasonably tall, lanky man. 
and nothing but overalls. His skin is a very pale white, he has a white beard, and he has white hair on his head sticking up like how Wolverine does. But his eyes are a milky white as he slowly, silently rocks in his chair. Guard, do you... Do you think he can see us? It looks like he might be... Might be blind. She said you don't see why. <sighs> well, I no, I better go around. talk to him. Why, you can't oh, well, see him. Oh, yeah, hold up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It wasn't here. <laughs> me, 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 me. It's just me and Bart right now. The line was just looking the opposite way. <laughs> Let's get a one. Good. One of us could go up to him, see, see if he's actually blind. You want me to do it? Or you? I'll go up. Right. I've got your back. You bar start getting closer. You Did you see him up there? I point. And as I point, you can kind of see, make out yeah. something. What is that? Is that him? Bart's gonna find out. Alright. Lime well, just now turns around. Wait, he's over there? Shh. Well, if you <laughs> I, put my hand, you. I put my finger up to his to your mouth and Oh Alright. Jacob Bard is heading up. Smile baker, but you're the hush maker. Oh my fucking god. As Bard gets closer, he goes. Oh, hello there? He suddenly jolts awake. What? What the fuck? I can't, no, we can't hear you. We can't hear, hear you. Hear you. Hear you. He, dude, he sounds like a subnautica creature. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the crab squid. He turns into the crab squid, bro. Bro. What? Where are you? Gets up. Oh, who is right, it? Right over here. Huh? I walk up beside you. I think you were right. I think I was right. I think you can see us. Are you, uh, are you blind, sir? Doug, I done told you you ain't welcome here. I ain't Doug. I'll hit the dog on you. I'll oh, I ain't Doug. My name's Nathaniel. Okay. Nathaniel Boone. I ain't and heard I that name before. Part. That's a funny name. I'm going to beat my woman. Did you know you're named after an instrument? I get <laughs> yes, I, I'm aware of this. Okay, then. She said you know Who are y'all? Why do you come here? Well, uh, we need uh, Hasseldorf sent us. She said you know you know, a big Luger. smile comes across his face. Well, I'll be damned. I never thought that old bastard would come back after Doug ran him out. So you must be his boys, then. <gasps> you could, uh, you could say that. Yeah, I mean. Well, in that case, come on in. And he gets up and he opens the door and he walks in to a room on the porch of the thing he was sitting in. The call lagged really bad. Did y'all say anything or do anything? No, he didn't say oh. anything. Okay. No, I. he just said he walks up and he invites you in and he opens the door. Oh, okay. Oh. Guitar bird enters first, I guess. As I'm walking Is it music change behind, time? you could do something a little more lively, All right, but same I vibe. It. As I'm walking behind Bard, I look him in the face as I walk by to see if he can even see or react to my to, to me looking at him. It's hard to tell. He has almost completely milky white eyes, but when you look really close, you can see the faintest of blue where a pupil would be. But it's very faint. But he is blind. It's like barely even there. Basically. Alright. 
There's other people in this room you find yourselves in. You see one man, a younger man with a black beard, a skinnier man. And then you see um, uh, a blonde guy with no hands. And then there's this one guy who's very hefty. He has a resemblance to a pig. And he's wearing overalls and a corn straw hat. And a few other men sleeping around that don't have any significance to them. Caden, where are you, bro? Allow me to introduce ye. ye, ye. <laughs> that over there is, um, that guy with the black beard is, goes by crank ass. He looks at you. Howdy. Howdy. That guy over there in the chair with the, the hat, he goes by Sumo 2. Yeah. That man sleeping on the couch over there is uh, Bob Jr. And, uh,. That guy in the very back is, um, uh, that's Kirkland. <laughs> kind of raise my hand and wave at Kirkland. He waves without even seeing where you are with his hat over his face to sleep. <laughs> Dude, whoa. <laughs> Who is he? I, uh, I kind of look over and say, Bob Jr., what happened to Bob okay, Sr.? I was just about to ask that. <laughs> what happened to him? What yeah. do you mean? Senior, what happened to Bob Senior? Oh. Bob Senior. He grew old and died. Passed on the Silver Mountain. Hold on. The call is lagging really bad. I gotta try to fix this. Is it my Wi Fi? We're on Big right, Rock now. Candy Mountain. Yeah. Alright, what were you saying? Said, I'm guessing Bob Sr. passed on the Silver Mountain. As one yep. does. That is true. He did. Mm. Mm. Most of these people are actually Bob Sr.'s boys. Bob Jr. was just the first one. Mm. Me and uh, old Hasseldorf used to raise him back when he lived here, but then... As I'm sure Hasseldorf informed you, the law cracked down and he had to flee town. Yes, we heard. I was gonna say, uh, Smile Maker, you're quite a legend down in town. Smile. Yeah, I am a bit of it, I suppose. You make a mighty fine moonshine, I will say. I've got to compliment your work, I smile, and I not, and I look over to Jack. What, you say the same? Yeah, it's good, says Jack. Tight, 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 tight. God, the pot is lagging horribly. At least for me. Hold on, let me try. Go to data. Data. Dattered. That probably fixed it. Yep, there we go. Okay. Nice. As well. I would hope so. With a rig like this, and emotions behind him, and this is when you first noticed it. It is a massive brewing rig of a. It's got a giant, like copper pot, and various pipes and gears going off of it into other pots and gauges, and twisting valves and such. You've never seen any machine like this. The bulldogs all have rubber teeth. And the hens lay soft boiled eggs. The Dang. farmer's trees are full of fruit. The barns are full of hay. Quite a contraption you've go got here. Where there ain't no snow, where the That's the smile maker special. And the window. I guess you could call that the maker. In that big rock I suppose you could. You want a demonstration of how it works? I would be honored. Elijah put on some more intense southern music. I was just the to start cooking. We are on Big Rock Candy Mountain now. Mm -hmm. All right. No, not that, bro. Not that. I need. 
lonesome of the bees and the cigarette trees. The soda water fountain Here it is. where the lemonade springs and the bluebird sings in that big rock can. He yells out, Kirkland, stoke the fire! And he begins to start stoking the fire, and other men jump to their positions doing shit. And you see, he stretches, and out of the back of his overalls appear two more identical arms, and he almost leaps through the air, cackling onto he the does machine, have four arms. using his arms to work the gears and gauges to get the mixtures and pressures just right as the machine begins to steam and shake with the intense heat and pressure building in it. It's at this point when Sumo 2 walks over to Nishun. He's got a, a jar in his hand and uh, he's got a snake and he's holding up the snake. And he's holding it towards his arm. I know what this is. <laughs> he's saying, Look at this! Look at this! Bite me! He won't bite, bite me, boy! Bite me! He won't bite I'm me, so boy! You know why? Because I've got the best mood shot around! <laughs> Dude, I love that clip. As soon as you said he had the snake, I knew what you were doing. Yeah. That's awesome. He won't bite me, man! He won't bite me! You know what? <laughs> yeah, I know, you know. I was talking about too. <laughs> and he, this smile maker begins to shout, "Hold on, hold on, we're losing pressure, we're losing pressure!" And the other men jump to positions and they begin cranking. And then finally, after what seems like forever, and it seems like you're mere moments away from exploding and death, he hops off the machine and tucks his two other arms back into his overalls and twists a knob and clear liquor pours out of a spigot into a jug. Well, that's how the sausage is made, so they say. Well, I'll be damned. Would you be obliged to us trying a bit of a new mix? Smile. What do you have in mind? So I'll take a sip of this brew. Oh, you just want a sip? Well, yeah, by all means. Everyone yeah. gather around. He begins to pour glasses. He hands the glasses out to everybody. <laughs> with a little swig at the bottom. Yeah. What do we toast to? You know what? I got an idea. You know. How about we toast to you coming into power in this town? I like that idea. Smile. We toast to Hasselhorf as well. To Mr. Lewis. And his pigs. And his cows. And his cocks. I can toast to that. Dude. To Hasseldorf, the Sulphur City, and Smiles. He says, oh. Smiles. <laughs> and shows your guy's glasses and downs it. And that's where we end this session. <laughs> where, where were you guys looking for anyway? Why, did, why? I must ask, why did Hasseldorf send you here? He said he had some missing stock that he uh, wants us to retrieve for him. I was going to say, I thought you'd know. Uh, well, I, I haven't heard from him in so long. Not since he got run out of town. Well, what was he here for in the past? Was he making mixes with you? Yes, but he had a cover. He used to work in the church. That's where we moved our product out of. No. <laughs> For the longest time, and then, uh, <laughs> That's well, hey, the listen, man. hey, 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 if Jesus made water into wine, the smile maker can make sulfur into liquor. Okay, I, That's the Bible. I can cheer to anyway. That. 
Anyway. I gripped the rosary in my pocket. Well, it's the same as it's always been. As um, uh, in regards to his stock, well, it's just down one of those things right there out in one of those sheds although i don't know how you plan to get it off this mound and pass the law well, I don't we'll know have if you have to we'll have to run like hell is there no way that we can get off this mountain without going through town i look at it not any way with the road although what's this y'all were mentioning about me coming back down the mountain well, as I said earlier, you're quite a legend down there. And this town, this town of Sulphur Springs, it's looking for new management. I look at Nishun and grin. And I look back to the smile maker. We might have to burn a couple bridges on the way down, but you guys are not. We tiny. can always rebuild. That old hag in the house, she. It's time for her to go sleep smile. <laughs> I say she's already been sleeping. I don't know how she's awake. Well, if y'all oh, you think that we have the means and resources to do it, well, well, I see all, no reason not. All we'll need is a match and a couple bottles of moonshine. Dude, you're not gonna burn down sulfur springs. <laughs> Yeah, right, we're, gonna do this. we're gonna do this, and we might as well be drunk. Listen. All right. Sulfur moonshine and matches mix pretty well. Well, in that case, boys, I better, I guess we better start gearing up, and y'all better start getting them um, uh, Hasseldorf stock on the, the wagon. Who wants to sneak the livestock down to the wagon while we prep? I'm well, big boy. I smile at him. Ready to work yes, a little man. bit? Ready to work a little bit? Oh, I'm ready to work, but my work ethic in, after all. Mr. Sounds Luger like be will be very be proud. Best. I'll be sure to give a good report. So who's going to Hasseldeads? Not Hasseldeads. Hasseldorf stock. Limewell. Lime, well, Limewell, okay. Limewell, you go outside into the, and you open this shed that they were talking about. And this is much more stock than can fit on one wagon, which fortunately for you, there are three other wagons in this room that appear to have belonged to Hasseldorf as well. Ooh. Hasseldorf, I mean. You see a grand total of at least four large shipping crates, presumably full of medicine, some dried meat, four cows, ten pigs, and ten prized cocks. Mm. The crates are all labeled drugs, by the way. <laughs> this is the stock. Nishun, roll perception. Man, I have a I have a plan. I'm gonna cook me, Lime Will Boone, and someone else. We're gonna drive the four carriages out. Elijah, you as gotta... we're going down the mountain, can you play that song? It's gonna be so perfect. Oh, I will. Okay. You'll know when it's time. I trust you. Oh yeah. Alright, I'm gonna roll perception. What's going on here? I got a twelve because I got garbage rolls. do I see? Oh, no. Oh. As you look off the side of the mountain, below the fog, you can see the slightly smaller mountain clearing that the house is located on. And as you look way down in the distance, in one of the windows, you see a figure looking right at you. The figure of a woman in a dress, her skin visibly pale. Mm. Put Bro, on what something if creepy. What if she's dead and Doug just put her body in the window? 
man. Maybe this. How creepy are we feeling? Mildly Shit. unsettling. Not like immediate threat. Like fuck. Maybe that. I mean, yeah, real quick, I'm doing something. I'm gonna maybe. Come on, load. I need you to load. Oh, wait, hold up. I got an idea. That's not it. Come on, bro. Come on. Bro. Sorry, I'm trying to cook on some. No, no, you're good. It just does not want to cook for me. And I should say, as this is happening, the smile maker and his his co-workers are gathering up supplies and guns on wagons and preparing to go down to store in the town. If y'all Bro, this is... His dad's this supplies is boxed up. I think that'll work. Bro said we have one more scene. We have a whole battle coming yeah, up. Yeah, I was like, what? Bro. We doing the battle tonight? Or... No, you just get this scene. And then okay. okay. Yeah, I didn't think session. we were. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have time for the battle because then yeah, bro. more stuff. You're like at the halfway point in the arc. Man, we have. Evolved... <laughs> Whoa. Oh. I know exactly what you're doing. <gasps> you made one mistake, though. You should have never drank that liquor. Now your friend on the dark side can't help you. What? Oh, I forgot. Oh. No, I forgot. I forgot. That and with sucks. that, that is where we end Wait, the night what? session. What? Yeah, Mom? Been... Oh, why is she a mind flare? Why? Because she is a mind flare. <laughs>